for the amount of pumpkin and butternut squash and everything else we use in the Caribbean our recipes are pretty much stagnant a choka, a curry, in stews, in soups, in callaloo but other than that we don't really take full advantage of pumpkin season what's up soldiers? Chris here CaribbeanPod.com Meat Free Monday yeah it's been a while today we're doing butternut squash roasted in the oven now if you have pumpkin at home we in the Caribbean when pumpkin yo pumpkin cheap in the market buy this and make it for the kids mommy change up the game I've got five pounds of butternut squash here cubed up peel cubed up a nice big what about an inch inch and a half pieces I'm just gonna drain it a bit get rid of any water and here's where we're gonna add flavor to that and said flavor will come courtesy of some demerara brown sugar just gonna work that all the way in there that's two tablespoons of that brown sugar I've got four cloves of garlic which has been minced or crushed and you know my American friends you guys have that Thanksgiving coming up this is a great little dish to pull out on Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day, all kind of thing like that. Some grated ginger, and these are all flavors we love in the Caribbean. And remember that ginger is gonna give it a bit of a spicy note. I've got coconut oil, that's gonna pull everything together. And that is a virgin coconut oil. And you know we love with coconut oil in the Caribbean. Many people just join in the program for the whole coconut oil, but we've been rocking coconut oil, boy. I used to have coconut oil green running down from my hair. That was lotion, that was hair cream, that was everything. Sea salt. Black pepper. And this is so simple. In the meanwhile, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So, so far we've got grated ginger, crushed garlic, black pepper, salt, demerara sugar. And I want some of fresh thyme. I am not a fan of dry thyme, but if dry thyme is your thing and you have it on hand, by all means, don't go the road and buy extra. Now you saw me dump that butternut squash and pumpkin will work, by the way. That nice calabasa pumpkin we have in the Caribbean, that will work. You saw me dump that butternut squash in here that was done the night before and I took it out and you allow it to come to room temperature because we want to stick it in the oven and we don't want it to be cold now if all you can do is buy it already prepped like this in cubes I've seen it in the grocery store like that so no scene all we're gonna do now is go in there and give that a good mix and you all know I like to get my hands dirty so in goes with my hand and if you feel you need a bit more coconut oil by all means Get some of that coconut oil action going. And that is ready to go into the oven. But first, we've got to put it on a cookie sheet. And to make cleanup easier later, I'm especially trying to be scrubbing with no coconut husk. That is old school there. Eh? If you know, you know what I'm talking about. You use the coconut husk to scrub your dishes. But anyhow, what we're doing now is just pouring that on there onto that cookie sheet. I'm gonna scrape down all that niceness onto here, put it into a, a single layer, like so. And make sure everything is coated nicely. So I'm gonna pick up some of the, the garlic and brown sugar and everything and put it on top of the pieces of butternut squash and now it's going to go into the oven middle rack 400 degrees and these are going to roast up get super sweet super creamy on the inside a nice little charred color on the outside and it's bare niceness here into the oven now 400 degrees fahrenheit middle rack it's been about 15 minutes now and here's where i like to go in with a couple more things i've got light brown sugar now so that, I'm going to add some ground cinnamon, cinnamon, ginger, pumpkin, butternut squash, they all go together. So I'm just going to mix that up 
and it's only got maybe about five more minutes to go but we want to finish off with a little bang of flavor so now we're just gonna sprinkle that on like so and that cinnamon man I'm telling you this is like you know everybody into the pumpkin spice this is pumpkin spice on a different level here yes this is Uncle Chris version and my idea of pumpkin spice <laughs> Back in the oven. We're going back in the oven, people. Yeah, we ain't skylocking. Sup, <laughs> soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take me address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irene, Irene. 10 minutes after adding the additional brown sugar, and that's a golden brown sugar or a light brown sugar with that cinnamon, and the entire house got the smell of the holidays, of Christmas. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, roasted butternut squash. We've got that ginger, that cinnamon, that garlic, the thyme, brown sugar, two different types of brown sugar. All went into the oven. Mommy, we don't want no pumpkin chocolate. We don't want no pumpkin with shrimp. We want Uncle Chris's roasted butternut squash in the oven. And like I said, pumpkin works just as good. 